Hi there! Today I'd like to show you a technique for brushing out acrylic yarn to get acrylic fibers that you can use for needle felting, like this right here. You start with some a cheap acrylic yarn that you can find, say at Walmart or your local hobby store, pretty much anywhere. Although wool yarn does work too, and so do other synthetic fibers. We have our yarn here some scissors, and also a slicker brush with nice strong wire bristles. It's the kind of brush that you would use for brushing the excess fur off of a dog or a cat. Underneath everything we have a cutting mat, which is just to keep the surface of our work area from getting scratched up by all the wire bristles when we brush. To begin, take your yarn and wrap it about 20 to 25 times around your hand, like this. The reason for this number is that if you have too many strands, it'll be too difficult to brush out evenly, and if you have too few, you're not going to be getting much fiber from your effort. Also, please be careful about wrapping it too tightly, or you'll cut off your circulation, and you won't be able to get the yarn off of your hand so easily. Once you've got it wrapped, you're going to cut the rest of the yarn away from your hand, then grab all the strands in the loop, and slide them off your fingers. Grab your scissors, and cut into one side of the loop, and you'll have about 20 to 25 strands of yarn. Take any excess little pieces and discard them, you won't be needing them. It'd be a good idea to make sure the ends of these strands are even, so just cut away the tips of any that are too long. It'll make the brushing process easier if you don't have lone strands of yarn sticking out. Again, discard any little clippings. To begin, you're going to grab on to one end of these strands and make sure that you hold it with a nice firm grip to keep any strands from slipping out while you brush. And when you brush, you're going to start at the ends and work your way inwards, just like if you were detangling hair. So to start, just kind of scrape at the ends of the yarn with the brush to start them unraveling and fluff them up a bit. Then, flip the bundle over and do the same to the yarn on the other side. Some kinds of yarn will have more resistance to the brush than others, and don't brush out as easily, or you'll end up with clumps of fiber sometimes where the yarn just kind of rips away. As you brush, keep flipping the bundle over periodically, making sure you get all of the strands evenly. And periodically, you're going to want to pull the fiber out of your brush, bris brush bristles. Just pinch it and kind of pull it out to keep it from getting clogged. To show you real quick that it's working, right here is a bunch of fluffy acrylic fiber. We'll set that aside for right now because we're not done yet. Let's brush the rest of this out, making sure you've got the bristles brushing just at where the yarn frays out and fluffs up. Now we're getting really close here, so what I like to do is let go, let go, there we go, then grab the fluffed up frayed out end, grip it tightly, and work on brushing the ends of the yarn that I was previously holding. Normally I trim the ends of that end to make sure that they're even because a lot of the time the brushing will pull out certain strands. We're going to do this end just like we did the last one. Uh, brushing from the outside in, working our way towards our fingers, and keeping a firm grip on the end that we're holding so that the brush doesn't pull things apart, because it's hard to get strands back in that have been pulled out. And remember to clean out your brush periodically, because if it gets too packed up with fibers, it's harder to brush more out. 
For the last part here, we want to make sure that we got the last traces of twist out of the yarn, so that it has an even consistency and it's all nice and fluffy. That last little bit you are holding onto is done then, and can go in with the rest of the fiber. And now we're done. We have a nice amount of acrylic fiber that we can use in needle felting or even spinning, which is a little counterproductive unless you're blending it with other fibers or colors. I should clarify that while this fiber is good for needle felting, wet felting won't work because acrylic fiber doesn't have scales that animal fibers do that make wet felting possible. But it's fluffy, it's soft, it does tend to squeak when you pinch it. That's all I've got for right now. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments section, and thank you for your time.